Hi everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm going to show you how to apply dark lipstick. Before we get started, I did apply my makeup except for the lips off camera before I started recording. All the makeup that I'll be using will be in the description below. Enough chit chat, let's get started. If you want to wear a dark lipstick, you got to find your undertone. I have a cool undertone. The lipstick that I'll be using is Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick in Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. It's a little bit dark for me, but it, I guess this, this is the only one that I'll be using. I concealed. I used the Maybelline Cover Stick and Ivory all over my face to conceal my dark circles and a little bit of blemishes because I am so fair. If you don't want if you don't do that, it will show and we want to cover it up. And I have a little bit of facial hair and I didn't want to shave. I didn't. So I concealed it. And I did my brows so they're good. A tip is keep your eye makeup light. I wanted to use a blue mascara but I was like nah the palette that I used is the Essence Fire Palette. I'll show you what shades I used. If I can like hold it up on camera. I used this light brown on the crease. I used this orangey shade for a little lash line. I took this yellow shade on the lid. And I took this light warm shade on the inner corner and brow bone. And I use black mascara, and that's all you need. And I moisturized my lips with Vaseline and cocoa butter. I had lip balm on from yesterday, and today I decided to put on Vaseline. A little bit goes a long way. If you put too much, it will ruin it. And now I'm gonna blot it with a piece of toilet paper. This will look flawless, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Lip liner is important, especially when wearing dark lipstick. You don't want to look like Joker. For lip liner, I'm using the Maybelline Color Sensational Shape and Lip Liner in clear. I forgot this had a sharpener, so I sharpened it off camera. Well, clear lip liner, in my opinion, saves me a lot of money from all the lip liners. This will prevent the lipstick from bleeding. I can't see it on camera. I'm going to be right back. For lipstick, like I said, I'm using the Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick in Fuchsia with Blue Pearl, and I'm applying it straight to the bullet. Mm. I hope I don't go past my lip line. This has Blue Pearl in it, so it makes my teeth look lighter. And it complements my undertone because if there's skin with cool undertones, I burn easily. So I need sunscreen in the summer. To regret myself looking like Joker, I like to clean up the lines. Because smeared lipstick doesn't look cute. And then a trick to prevent lipstick from getting on the teeth is put your finger in your mouth. E. Mm. Berry shades complement a lot of skin tones. Mm. This one is a pink shade and it has blue pearl in the formula so it makes my teeth look whiter even though I brushed my teeth because that's important. And it complements my 
undertone. And clear lip liner saves me a lot of money from getting lip liner and lipstick. Sometimes I don't even use lip liner, but for the sake of this video, I do. So basically, a neutral eye brows are really important to frame the face. And they always will be. I wasn't sure if I should do this on camera, but I've seen other people do it, including Michelle Fong doing it, and it is really good. Keep your makeup light, and the lips will pop. So, anyways, stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.